good. And Desidjoy actually has really strong tools for playing around highs in the game. He can do the, the sort of low kicks that really punish highs. Um, and Shadow Mewtwo, a character with a lot of highs. But I think, let's just get into it. Let's see if Oracle goes with the Shadow Mewtwo. Uh, and then how this matchup between the former senior world champion and Munster plays out. All right, let's kick it off. Already in that lower bracket here, Burnside. This is a make it break it moment between both Munster and Oracle. And what are you anticipating to see from this matchup that we have? Yeah, I'm shocked to see the Aegis Slash. Uh, Oracle playing a lot of Shadow Mewtwo and Mewtwo yesterday, but not a lot of Aegis Slash. Uh, we have seen him play Aegis Slash before in tournament. So not a pick that he's uncomfortable with or unfamiliar with. And Aegis Slash, a lot of tools actually to keep Decidueye grounded, which is something that can be tough. But Munster not gonna be deterred, just goes straight to the air, already on the aggression. And a nice AY reaction to anti-air on the Iron Head from Orticle. That's a really tough reaction. So Munster already on his stuff, finds a nice throw. And it's looking at all Munster from here. Yeah, Oracle does not seem to get his footing right here. He does manage to block, but at the same time, Munster is getting these mix up, keeping Oracle against the wall. Can he do anything off of it, though? He's stuck, Burnside. Yeah, Munster's movement is looking so strong here. Munster, a player who's been improving oh. every single time we see him, so much better with his Decidueye. And this is the strongest I've ever seen him look. But Oracle answering back. This is potentially a punish. No, missed in the way. Munster, not ready for the miss and getting punished for it. Iron Head pressure still going on from Oracle. Oh. oh, the comeback right now? That was, that was impressive. Disgusting. That did so much damage. Yeah, that's the Sacred Swords just catching Munster completely off guard and they're using, oh my gosh, he was in shield form so he can move back and spaces around the acrobatics. That was so strong from Oracle now landing a dive kick. Let's see if he shifts here. He could choose either way. He does choose to shift and you can see why the damage was disgusting. And also now being able to utilize the Lapras does manage to put him back up in the air. That's going to set things up here for Munster to make his comeback. He also has that burst meter and the wake up at the shield. He knew that Oracle was against the wall. He knew that he wanted to be a lot more defensive. But at the same time, Munster did not want to press it advances. Yeah, Combat is 4 wide, goes to the air. And now Oracle going to close it out. Munster came out of the into the game number one swinging, but Oracle answering back and in a commanding fashion. Aegis Slash, one of his defining characteristics is his damage, a low HP character. Uh, they can really put the beat down on if he gets in, and we saw just that. Very tough for Decidueye. Munster having to play around sort of the anti-air game, and he tried to bait it out a few times, and Oracle just wasn't biting and found his spots and landed them. I really like the way that Oracle played that out. Now you see Munster taking a lot more of a defensive approach compared to what we had seen when he opened up that first game. He does get stuffed out though and trying to jump right onto Oracle and you can already see the damage coming out from Eagle Slash. Yeah, 50% HP already gone for Munster and Oracle not stopping anytime soon. Uh, Oracle looking very comfortable now. I think he feels like he has a really solid understanding of when Munster is going to try to take the skies, punishing him for it. We saw that happen in that round. Uh, and wow, the pressure, this is all Oracle all the time now. Yeah, if I were Munster right now, I'd be wondering, I need to make sure I could close in this gap because every time Oracle has been able to make this comeback around Munster, he does not allow him to have that mobility. And this is the type of aggression that I like to see from Munster now. It's a matter of just keeping Oracle against this wall. He's gonna try to attack on all that extra pressure, but with the fuel phase, it's gonna allow Oracle to get defensive. Yeah, nice. Smart risk here from Munster, allowing him to get back into it. And now Oracle though, answering back on a grab attempt. Uh, this is where Munster ran into pro trouble in the past and because of it goes to burst, but caught dashing in. Oracle with a huge call oh. out there. And he's still going, he's still pressing those advances and he's trying to shut down Munster here before he could actually take full utilization over that burst. He ready immediately knew that he wanted to get really aggressive right there on the wake up option. Now the shield's coming in, he's gonna get taken a little bit of that chip damage, but now being able to shift that phase, Oracle forcing Munster to hold shield right there. Yeah, and it may be enough right here, just not quite. Oracle 2 HP, oh. Munster very scared here. Oracle into burst. Nice chip for Oracle. So have that secret sword to deal with too at the same time that buff is still active and he does shut him down immediately afterwards. Munster putting himself back on the map. 
Yeah, great stuff from Munster. Playing patient, not falling prey to the burst attack of Oracle there. Just taking the trip. We'll see if this Lapras trades. It does. Munster not able. Really low hit. So Oracle falling out of it and able to pick up the field phase. Sort of tragic for Munster there after a nice trade. The EV2 to provide some of that assistance right there. You have Munster stuck in shield at the same time, taking some of that chip damage, and he immediately gets the counter. Knew that Oracle was playing extremely aggressive, and now he's going to try to press on this advantage, but unfortunately, he can't get the follow from that, and now it's Oracle's turn to deal that massive amount of damage. Yeah, Oracle doing a wonderful job responding to Munster's grab attempts now. Really has a hard read on that. Munster at a burst, he's just going to throw it out. Not going to catch Oracle pushing a button, but he does catch him with the Spirit Shackles, shifting into the corner. Tough move to punish, especially that spacing. Ooh, with the counter right there too. Answering right back. Munster now keeping Oracle against the wall. The repositioning though from Oracle and the Lapras. Can it really assist him? He knows that he wants to press shield. Can he get a grab though? Instead, he's just dealing that chip damage, but he gets put against the wall and Munster now taking that second game. Yeah, that was a really well-timed dive kick from Munster too. Oracle in counterattack, so without a perfect timing, every counterattack when it's released has a few vulnerable frames. And if you time it just right, you can beat a counterattack with an attack. So that's what we saw there from Munster and really great stuff from him keeping himself in the match. Again, this is that lower bracket too, Burnside. So that's how you know the pressure's on. Both these players tied in the series. Does manage to get that grab, finding that opportunity, and now switching the phase back to dual phase. We're going to see a lot more aggressive options coming in from Oracle. Doesn't matter, trying to stop Munster short though, and being able to catch Oracle as he did want to go in for that punish as Munster was diving right in. Look at the patience that we are seeing from both of these players holding shield. Yeah, great. Oh, Munster not deterred. He's been, had that grab broken in a situation like that a few times in a row, uh, but just goes for it again, says, I'm going to set my own offensive plans. Your responses aren't going to deter me, and Munster looking pretty strong. I like his use of Rising JY from right around this spacing. There he goes for it again. Uh, not opening Oracle up that time. Oracle staying patient. Oh, that time just caught by a grounded grab, and Munster in a very strong position here. Oh. Going up to set point. I like that follow too. He knew that was checkmate right there. He had to get up right into it. And since he was stuck against the wall, that's what happens when your back is against the wall too. And the positioning that we had from Munster, he does take that first round and he's only one more round away from trying to close out this game. And he already opens up aggressively. Yeah, this would be a really strong win for Munster if he's able to pull it off against Oracle. And Oracle, oh. of course, we saw an amazing comeback in round one, so we can pull this off. And nice jab offense there coming out from Oracle. Has Munster in a terrible position, miss set up in the corner. But Munster jumping out catches with another rising JY. And also just keeping Oracle up in the air. We've seen Munster, though, make this comeback. You can't count him out just yet, especially as he does have that burst meter at the ready. The shield, though, to block that support out, and now trying to tack on that extra damage. He utilizes that burst meter as he saw that Oracle wanted to get extremely aggressive right there, and now he's going to be able to take on a lot of that damage. Yeah, this is going to be really devastating for Aegislash's low HP character, left with just 12 HP, and he needs to win this field phase so he can get burst and use that to start a comeback. Oh, but he doesn't even have the chance, Burnside. Munster having different plans, being able to showcase that Munster cheese, and now Iggy Slash unfortunately falling down. Yeah, very good stuff for Munster there, taking down the former world champion in the senior division and moving.